Dan had a special bookmark on page 136, which is all the fart facts. Yeah. We were yeah, having yeah. a blast reading all about it, uh, the last commercial break. It's fascinating. It's all good stuff. It really is fascinating. Yeah. And I, I really like the fact that you point out in here that girls fart as much as boys. They do, but, and this is a big but. Nice pun. <laughs> do more than women. Yes. Really? But women smell just as bad. Yeah. <laughs> worse. <laughs> Now, what so, scientific research I, is that based on? I, I was going to say, where did you get your information, or do we want to know that? <laughs> you, there's a whole back section. There's lots of back matter. You can see all of our sources are text. It's all in there. Did not make this stuff up. Now, were you interested in science? Because you've had a lengthy career in broadcasting. Was, was science sort of on the radar for you when you were going through school, or did, is this a recent thing? So when I was a kid, I was not interested in science at all because I think the way it was taught to me was super it was in a very dry academic way and then as I got older and started getting interested on in science on my own this is amazing um, but I wasn't doing a science show at the time that's not what the absolutely Mindy show is so it was always kind of a secret passion and then four years ago we started Wow in the world which is a narrative science podcast for kids based in real new peer-reviewed science journals and new studies, um, but wrapped up into this crazy world uh, that our characters, Guy and Mindy, and their pigeon Reggie, and nosy neighbor Dennis, that we live in this world. And uh, yeah, so I, the one thing about that I love about science and I realize is my connection with kids is scientists think this, the way that kids do. They're endlessly curious. They're not afraid to dig in and get their hands dirty and, and uh, do gross things or ask ridiculous questions to, to find an answer. They're not afraid of what they don't know. And uh, and I love that. I think that's one of the things I love about kids and one of the things I love about scientists. And I'm not a scientist, so the closest I can get is to be a science communicator. Well, have you go gone into the research at all with, with the science community about at what age farts stop being funny? Because Christy and I were talking about this earlier, and we think it never does. You are the second person to ask me that today. Maybe this is, maybe this is the research I need to do. Yes. I can tell you from anecdotal experience, it's never. It's always funny. Yes. But we wanted to give kids, you know, a toilet talk. I'm sorry. It's funny. It's never not funny. <laughs> and so if, and I know that a lot of parents don't want it, their kids saying these words outside of the bathroom, but we wanted to give them some scientific context. So there's a little bit more heft to what they're saying and they have some real solid information to, to back it up. And I think hopefully that's what we've done with this book. We've given you permission for all of your toilet talk outside of the bathroom so you don't get in trouble for it. Well, Mindy, the book is amazing. Uh, wow in the World, The How and Wow of the Human Body is what it's called. It is available at bookstores and online, Amazon.com, and you can find a whole lot more um, on uh, 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 Wow in the World. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm speechless. Uh, through Tinkercast as well. <laughs> Tinkercast.com. Um, and I, I heard listening to your show that uh, you took the family on a vacation to Maine a couple of years ago and absolutely Mr. fell out of his kayak. That's hilarious. Next time you're up, I would love to have you come here in person. I think it would be a lot of fun. I would love to. In the meantime, since you're in Maine, could you look for his phone at the bottom of, I think it was Lovely Lake, Lily Lake, something like that? That's oh. where we dropped it and lost it. Never found it again. I'm sure so the ice isn't quite out yet, but I'll go look as soon as I'm able to. <laughs>